Hey everyone, Miss James here. Today we're going to be learning about the Powhatan Indians. I want you guys to look at this picture right here. What would your life be like if you lived in one of these longhouses or had to cook all of your meals over the open fire? Imagine yourself living in this environment. What would your life be like? How different would it be from the life that you now live? The Powhatan, people of the woodlands. Long before the first colonists crossed the Atlantic Ocean and landed in Virginia, thousands of people were already living here, living in many busy villages along Virginia's rivers and shores. Some of those people were a part of the Powhatan Nation, a union of about 30 different Indian tribes. The Powhatan were part of a group we call the Eastern Woodland Areas. Woodlands are regions with lots of trees. The thick forest gave the Powhatan people everything they needed to live well. Turkeys, rabbits, squirrels, deer, and bears. There was bark and wood for building houses and dugout canoes. Nature provided all the resources Virginia's Indians needed to survive. Words to know. Regions. These are places with the same climate and geography. For example, the Powhatan people lived in the eastern woodland region. On this map here, you can see the woodland region that the Powhatan Indians lived in. We just learned about maps. Why do you think they called it the eastern woodland region? You're right, because they lived on the eastern side of the United States. The drawing that I had you look at earlier is a 400 year old drawing of an Eastern Woodland Indian village. Why might the Powhatan Indians build a tall wooden fence around their village? You're right, to protect themselves and their families from intruders. Just like we have a front door that we lock every night. They want to be safe. Virginia had many Powhatan settlements. When the English colonists started Jamestown in 1607, the Powhatan lived in busy villages tucked in the woods alongside the riverbanks. They lived in longhouses, which were wood frame houses covered with bark or woven reed mats. Powhatan life. Virginia's mild winters and hot, humid summers were good for growing things. Powhatan men fished and hunted while the women farmed and taught their kids how to plant and harvest roots, nuts, tobacco, and fruit. Food was cooked over outdoor fire pits and stirred into yummy stews. Women ground corn to bake tasty breads and smoked meats and fish that were dried and stored in baskets for winter when food was scarce. For hundreds of years, the Powhatan and other Virginia Indians lived played, and worked along the rivers and bays until the arrival of explorers and settlers from Europe almost ended their way of life. Occupations. This is a fancy word for job. The Powhatan grew corn, beans, squash, and tobacco. Women did the farming and the men hunted and fished. Transportation. To get from place to place, the Powhatan paddled dugout canoes made from hollowed out trees. They wore soft leather shoes called moccasins. Could you imagine walking and canoeing anywhere you wanted to get to? It might take longer than driving a car. These are longhouses. They were made from wood, bark, and reeds. And they were very cozy, even in the winter. Hope you enjoyed learning all about the Powhatan Indians. You may even know the most famous Powhatan Indian, Pocahontas. Stay tuned to learn more about the Powhatan Indians. Bye!